Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop, Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. Now, it's now February 2025 and during the winter we have seen lots of nebulae. Uh, the plural of nebula or is it just nebulas? Anyway, along with their beauty and the planets, they have been going through their celestial dance as well and are now aligned to be able to view nearly all at once. Not really a lifetime event, but somewhat rare, but more importantly, a delight to view. And you can view it in your own backyard. Anyway, uh, you don't even need a telescope. You can just go outside and enjoy the view in the early evening sky. And just about the entire month of February, those planets, they'll be up there. I'll guide you as to what planets are where and how you can see them. So what's up in the nighttime February sky of this year? Now, all the images in this video were taken in the Heavenly Backyard Garden with most of them from the Celestron 11-inch Edge HD uh, telescope, but a few others with the Orion Eon 130mm triplet refractor and its kid brother, or is it kid sister? Anyway, the Orion ED80 triplet refractor. So what's up in the nighttime sky, February 2025? Let's take a look. The planets are aligned beginning in the month with Saturn, Neptune, Venus, Uranus, Jupiter, and Mars visible altogether about an hour after sunset. However, you'll need a telescope to see Neptune and Uranus, and even then, they'll just look like small greenish blue dots. By the middle of the month, Neptune and Saturn are beginning to be lost in the solar glare, and by the end of the month, only Venus, Jupiter, and Mars are visible to the unaided eye. If you look at Venus through a small telescope, you'll be able to see it as a crescent object, very much like the phases of the moon. Venus is at its greatest brilliancy right now at a minus 4.6, but its shape continues to wane toward a thin crescent as it approaches inferior conjunction later on in March. Now, leaving the solar system, there are many beautiful nebulae and planetary nebulae to view. However, you'll need a small telescope or larger to view most of these objects. High in the south at dusk is the Orion Nebula, along with many of the nebulosity objects nearby, such as the Horsehead, Rosette, and Christmas Tree Nebulae. Nearby is a beautiful target, Thor's Helmet also known as New General Catalog or NGC 2359. This is an emission nebula in Canis Major. It is about 12,000 light years away. In its center is an extremely hot star in its pre-supernova stage of evolution. Now, I took this picture from the Heavenly Backyard Garden in February of 2023. Just to the upper right of Orion in Taurus the Bull, you'll find the Seven Sisters, also known as the Pleiades. This is a beautiful wisp of blue feathery nebulous clouds and looks great through a pair of binoculars or a small telescope. But don't wait too long though, as they'll be edging toward the evening twilight by the end of the month. Not too far away in Taurus is the remnants of a star that exploded and was visible in the daylight for several weeks in the year 1054. Today we can see it as a spaghetti-like blob of reds, blues, and whites and appears to some as that of a crab, hence the name the Crab Nebula or Messier 1. I took this picture in late January. Nearby in Gemini is the Index Catalog or IC 443, or the Jellyfish Nebula, and it's about 5,000 light years away. This is a galactic supernova remnant that occurred about 30 to 35,000 years ago. You will need a telescope and time-lapse photography to capture uh, this view, this stunning view I took uh, in the Heavenly Backyard Garden, showing the outward flowing gases from that previous explosion. There is another form of nebulosity for viewing, which are more circular in shape, known as planetary nebulae. There are a couple yet to view this month. One is known as the Clown Face Nebula, no relationship to me, but uh, also the Lion Nebula, or recently known as the Eskimo Nebula, but that name has been dropped. It is designated as NGC 2392, and it too is in the constellation of Gemini, 
It's about 6,500 light years away. I recently made a video about this nebula and the Snowball Nebula, and a link to that video is in the description area below, and it'll also be at the end screen of this video. Further to the north in the Big Dipper, or Ursa Major, the Big Bear, is Messier 97, the Owl Nebula. This too is a planetary nebula with the central star shrinking into a white dwarf, expelling its outer layers of gas into a spherical region. The two darker void regions give the appearance of the face of an owl, hence the name. It's about 2,500 light years away. As the month fade, so will many of these colorful targets, but the attention now begins to shift with the views of the numerous galaxies that will be visible in March, April, and May, known as galaxy season. However, there are a few great ones to view right now in the late night, Messier 81 and 82. Now, these are a pair of galaxies about 12 million light years away, located in the sky in Ursa Major. M81 is also known as Bode's Galaxy, discovered by Johann Albert Bode in 1774. M82 is a starburst galaxy, and its nickname is the Cigar Galaxy. However, I like to think of it as the being the exploding cigar galaxy, because it looks like a cigar exploding. Okay. The gravitational interaction with M81 is thought to be the cause of that starburst, of that reddish radiation ejecting perpendicular to the plane of the galaxy, which again looks like a cigar, an exploding cigar. To capture that red emission though, a hydrogen alpha filter is highly recommended. And nearby in the tip of the tail of the Big Dipper in the constellation known as Cain Venatisi, uh, or the hunting dogs of the herdsman Bootes, is a spherical galaxy about 23 million light years away known as the Whirlpool Galaxy. Actually, it is two galaxies with the smaller one being absorbed by the larger one. I would like to thank all of you who have been supporting my channel with your super thanks, memberships, cups of coffee, and Patreon memberships. Now, think about this. From the planets, to the colorful nebulous targets, to the galaxies far, far away. The February nighttime skies have something to offer to everyone who loves to view the wonderful universe in which we live. And remember, the heavens are filled with majestic wonders and all in a sky near you. So unless you need rain, clear skies everyone.